Howdy folks, Rock the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Ozone Skyblock Reborn server, and I've done a few things in two hours since I did the last episode. Uh, one of the things I, I did is I moved the sifting over to here, and so it's a little bit easier to get to. And then I made some drawers just to pack away these items. And then I went through 16 stacks of gravel, which, uh, you know, this makes it much easier. Um, if I had done this four by four, then four high would be a stack. And that would be easy to do, but I didn't. Anyway, uh, I've got 76 of these iron chunks, which is really good. Um, Two by two makes uh, an iron ore, so I've got some iron there. And then you can see all the rest of the stuff. You know, I've got plenty of diamonds. In fact, I'm going to steal one and I need 12 of these. And I do have some grass seeds. Four I'm going to leave because that could get turned into uh, moss, which would be very handy. And because I'm lazy and I'm waiting for this to, to finish here, I'm going to surround this with grass. And I made the grass here by clearing out this area and using a single bone meal in the center and then uh, some wooden shears to, to chop that all up. Because if you have dirt like this in this arrangement, uh, so that's that's a four by four with two water in the, the center and you toss in a diamond and stand back a little bit. There we go. <laughs> That's why I stood back. This is a portal to the Twilight Forest. And one of the benefits of the Twilight Forest is it's got lots of dirt. <laughs> That's the main reason why I'm doing that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pillage the Twilight Forest because while I've got this nice big platform out here, I, I, I don't want oak. <laughs> I want to have dirt. I want to make this a floating island because Hello, this is the Skyblock. It's all about floating islands. Now, this is a, a much bigger island than before. Uh, I've got a five by five here, and then I went out nine in each of the directions to make a square to give me a lot more room to do stuff with. So I'm going to, uh, because I, I do have a whole bunch of tech stuff I want to get into for making energy and making this whole uh, breaking stuff down and sifting of the remains and all of that stuff I want to, to do with power, but I, I really want a place that's better than this. So uh, I'm going to go into the Twilight Source Forest and just um, steal me a whole bunch of dirt. A whole lot of dirt. And as you can see, uh, there's a whole lot of dirt that I've snagged out of here. And being able to vein mine has been very nice. Uh, this little patch right here, I went ahead and made a single piece of moss and then hit it with uh, five different uh, bits of bone meal to spread it around, did it in two layers, and then uh, vein mined up all the stuff there. Very nice. I also went one of these directions. Nope, not that way. So I went that way. One of these, yes, that, that direction uh, behind me. Uh, and I went ahead and, and picked up some of the uh, the fireflies over there. I went ahead and uh, found a whole bunch of flowers and just picked up a ton of different flowers because I wanted the access to dye. Um, I also uh, was looking for a firefly and uh, I, I, I seem to have lost it someplace. I, I'm not sure where it is. All right, uh, let's go home. Yay, home. Uh, being able to, to do that is very nice. And as you can see, I have grassed up this area with all the dirt. In fact, if we take a look, I've got a lot of dirt. I've used like nine stacks of those. Uh, plus, here's a bunch of the, the various things that I picked up that I, yay for, for random stuff from that. Uh, this, this is now flat. Um, yeah, it's, it's very nice. I also went ahead and did a ring of stacks stairs and then uh, waterlogged it so now i've got water and i don't need a, a a piece out there for that um this is just so that i have something over my head uh, i also when i did the moss i got all these these things when i uh, sifted those and uh, so i got my favorite dark oak saplings and because of that i've got dark over there and a dark over there and haven't done a lot of harvesting with the dark oak but uh, i did steal some of the firefly jars and so now i've got some of those lights kicking around so that's what i've been doing 
And uh, oh, yes, I, I started uh, working on a floating island because of course I did. And uh, oh, yeah, one other thing I did is I got rid of all the 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 planks up here. Well, the slabs, the wood slabs, except for that little bit right there, which I couldn't easily get to. Anyway, I replaced um, one block lower uh, these uh, cobblestone slabs. And because I'm going to have to be playing with some lava at some point and I don't want things to burn. Plus, I, in a sky block like this, I really like having something below my blocks just to stop water from pouring through, uh, dropping things. Anyway, starting up a uh, island over here and I'm thinking I may build a building just so I have a roof over my head. And I started by just coming out. I went 11 blocks to here and then another 10 blocks there. So that's the same. And then I went 14 out that way and 16 out that way, or maybe the other way around. And then I'm just starting to fill it in. Just going to fill this in. So it's kind of a lopsided ovalish sort of thing. And when I have the ability to fly or hover, at least, uh, I'll go ahead and put some under pieces in here. Uh, for right now, it's just going to have to be a flat island. The I, I I could do this. I could scaffold down and I could have dirt scaffold around and I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to do that for right now. Uh, anyway, so um, the thing I was talking. Oh, 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 one other thing that I did. I went ahead and there it is. The juicer. We are for that four blocks of, of clay. You fire them, turns them into the terracotta. You can then do the juicer. And if I take you and uh, say two apples then I can make that and that, and that can make uh, apple juice, which is what I've been using. And that's very nice, a high saturation on that. I could do three apples and get something else. I can't remember off the top of my head, which has even more haunches of hunger, but eh, two is fine. Let me go ahead and grab that and put that away. Anyway, uh, the, the reason why I did all that bone mealing of... Uh, or no, searching for uh, the various plants is I wanted to sit there and do this. Uh, how many do I have? I got 60. Okay, I've got enough. Oh, I forgot this does it in sets of three. I'm going to grab them all because, <laughs> oh, hey, quest. Uh, no, let's put it over here. I did do two stacks of bone meal. That's why it got me a little bit more of these things down here at the bottom. Oh, I hadn't realized I had some blaze powder. So uh, the reason why I want this is I want to get these flowers and uh, I need to get a lot of flowers because I, I, I want a magnet. <laughs> I'm Since Batania is in the pack, I want to have a magnet so that I can just automatically pick up items instead of going through and... and uh, trying to hopefully catch them before they fall over the edge at this point it's it's very low important stuff you know slabs little bits of dirt and cobble and not a big thing but i don't want to accidentally pitch something over the edge because i broke it and it's gone uh, especially if it's something that i've taken a lot of work on and so i just don't want to do that <laughs> so i'm going to make me a Batania magnet, uh, which means I need to jump into Batania really fast. Can I vein mine you? Nope, nope, can't do that. Uh, anyway, so I need to uh, collect a lot of these flowers. And like I said, I've got 33 more. I'm going to harvest all the rest of these. I need white, which I already got one of those. And I'm going to need at least a few brown and reds. Pretty much, I think brown and reds are the only things that I really need at this point, uh, since I got the white already. So, uh, let's see, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm missing one, and it always seems like there's one I'm missing. And looking at it, light, no, there's light gray, there's the dark gray, uh, there's cyan, there's light blue uh black red green i don't have plain green nope nope i lied i've got plain green right there i don't know uh one of them i'm missing one of them anyway i'm gonna produce a lot of these i'm going to make uh i don't have any gold here i need one gold 
And then I'm going to need eight, nine uh, iron. So that's a lot of iron at this point now. And one piece of glass. So I, I need to make it another bit of uh, sand and fire it up. So uh, I, I'm that's kind of what I need. Oh, I also need a few other materials to make uh, the beginning Batania stuff. But first, I need all the flowers. Well, that sound you hear is the sound of a blood moon, which does not make me happy because I was going to sleep the night way. I can't now with the blood moon. Anyway, uh, so the sun's setting down. There's the nice blood moon coming up. I should be safe here. There should be lights everywhere. However, uh, I'm I'm ready. Uh, yellow. <laughs> yellow is what I was missing. Here's all my, my flowers that I picked up out of the 40 some odd uh, uh, fertilizer bits that I had and um, I prepped so things I'm going to need one a bunch of flowers got that next I need to make a petal apothecary and that needs a flower petal but not an actual flower and it doesn't care what the the color is but uh, I'm, I'm just going to use that uh, likewise the next thing that it needs is it doesn't really matter I'm just I grabbed stuff that I had lots of Anyway, so uh, I need a petal apothecary. That's these. Might as well make that. Uh, I need a spreader and a mana pool. And I need to also make a pure daisy, which requires a seed and two of these mystical white flowers, uh, which got those. I'm going to make eight endo flames, which is eight brown, four red, four light gray. I forgot the light gray and eight more seeds. And then I'm going to need to make a wand. And that's what these leftover bits are. And these six logs are there. Uh, the logs and the stone, I need to use the pure daisy to convert into living rock and living wood. And then uh, these are left over from a stack of each. And then these bits are what I need for the ring of magnetization. And I'm going to need some fuel. And I like charcoal blocks. It's an easy way to start off with. So I'm going to make this stuff. we go this should be the last thing i need is my wand of the forest and so with this setup uh you know the pure daisy converted all the stuff i needed i'm going to right click now let's crouch right click crouch right click so now the the mana spreader is, is pointing to the pool and these guys are not bound but i'm going to uh, break them real quick and hopefully don't lose any of them over the edge because that would be bad and if i put them down again and i tend to do this uh you know three by three pattern minus the the thing in the middle and now they are all linked to the mana spreader and then all i need to do is give it a little bit of fuel and i've got eight <laughs> right now We'll pass that off, uh, stand back so my magnet, which I don't have, will not pick it up. Uh, but it's going to start generating for me mana. So in the meantime, I am uh, burning some more. Oh, hey, you're done. Cool. Let's grab another stack of oak and toss that in there. And uh, that will make seven of these um, uh, blocks of coal. I, I need another 
eight from you know uh, another set to get me eight blocks and that's kind of what i use to to fuel this up so uh with that done actually i wonder if i have enough to do one of these yet put it on the, the bar yes i can all right so if i grab this part ah there goes the the blood moon so uh you and you and you do you oh no 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 no, no. i need just regular iron for that yes that 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 trips me a bunch so iron and gold and the glass and i only need the one and it looks like it wants to be in a specific order Oh, 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 nope, 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 nope. Yep, this comes from, uh, you know, having problems. Let's put that there. Let's do, can I do all of you? Oh, I ran out of mana for the last two. Oh. I'm waiting for this last bit of mana. That's way faster than I thought. So, hey, I'm, I'm super happy with that. Let me check. I've still got the one. I get, okay. Now I can make this. All right. So I do you. Let's move you there and put you in the center. And that will give me the mana lens. And then with a gold and an iron. And I don't think it matters where. Yeah, it really doesn't matter the order. order it's shapeless. That gives me the magnetization lens. And if I put that there and then wiggle this around, oh, go over there, you go down there. There's my ring of magnetization. And if I go into here and shift click it, nope, it didn't go into my ring. I'll put why you know go into my ring slots. Oh, I think that's uh, I want to go here and why you know toggle invisibility why you know go into my ring slot that's bracelet bracelet do I not have oh here we go rings <laughs> now at this point as I do stuff I have a magnet that will pick things up which will make me super, super, super happy for all of this work. That was way faster than I thought it would be. Way, way, way faster. Uh, here, I'm going to go... No, I don't want to put you out because you'll be picked up. Let's come over here. And I'm going to go... Spadoo, 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 spadoo. Now, there's a delay with this ring. If you spit something out, uh, the ring won't automatically pick it up. There's been enough time as I get close. <laughs> there's my magnet. And so as I break something. It picks it up. I love it. It's one of my favorite things of Batania. And it's one of those things that I want to grab as soon as I can. This makes me super, super happy. All right. So uh, is this the the final place where this is going to go? No, I'm going to make me a Britannia Island someplace, uh, but uh, this this will work for right now. Cool. I like this a lot. And uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, that makes me so happy. <laughs> well, I did have some plans for this episode, and if we take a quick look here, I was going to go down the tech route. Uh, there is a quest here for starting power and getting all those done. But I decided that instead of doing that, <laughs> since I got distracted by uh, making my magnet, <laughs> magnet, um, that I would instead build me a base because uh, living out here at Alfresco just doesn't really make me happy, especially knowing that there's phantasm, phantoms that will attack me in the night if I just AFK. So let's let's make ourselves a base uh so it, it, instead of just a single line going back and forth i said nah let's have a little bit better stairs here um you know light things up and i decided this would be the center of the home and a small little chalet here that i'm going to set up uh anyway so what i did is i decided i I like odds, so I'm having a three wide uh, entranceway. So there'll be a single door here, which is fine, but it'll be a three wide. And then I, I really like having my pillars, my the side parts of my walls. I don't like a single 
piece at the end where, you know, you just have one thing and then the walls go off to the side. No, I'm not that big of a fan. I like it where it splits like this uh, with the two. So that's what I did. And then I decided a uh, small little entrance hall. So one, two, three, because I like odds. And uh, then off to the side here, another one, two, three, and then a, a rotation. And then here, this is five across, which which works. Again, it's odd, and that's what I'm I'm looking for. And I don't need to have things be super symmetrical. I mean, a little symmetry uh, is is always nice, but not to doesn't have to be exactly the same. Because you look at your house, and it probably isn't exactly the same either. Yeah, it, just kind of the way things are. And if your house is exactly the same symmetrically across the way, whoops, uh, you didn't see that. There, see, didn't see it at all. Uh, if your house is perfectly symmetrical. It's kind of boring. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this here is uh, three wide. And over on this side, I decided to make it seven wide. So it's, it's a little bit different. Very similar, but you know, we're, we're talking about slightly different. Again, five across this way where it's five across there, which is the fine. And here's where I started running out of island. And I'm OK with that. Uh, over here, I decided because I had lots of uh, this oak kicking around to give myself a little platform so I could uh, build some stuff up. Uh, but yeah, I'm OK with this building hanging out. <laughs> the, the the floor here is just going to hang out. That's just uh, OK. I, I'm I am not going to complain with that. In fact, I think that's going to be kind of fun. And uh, as is unusual for me, I, I like the odds, but sometimes I as I just randomly count around, I end up with an even. Well, nope, it's five here and three there. So yeah, this is odd on every one of the, the walls, which is great. And if we take a quick look from the map up above, uh, this part, you know, okay, so this part is symmetrical right here in the, the, the center. You know, the, that just kind of bugs me with the, selecting the chunks anyway but this over here we got a small wing that's uh, three blocks wide and a large wing that's seven blocks wide okay that's too annoying so it's there's some symmetry like there's some symmetry there but it it doesn't match anyway that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go with that i think that's gonna be just fine uh, I do need to make some glass because I have zero sand so that means zero glass and then I need to figure out what I'm doing with the floor. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to bump it up at least one, if not possibly two blocks up and that the floor will be up there just because that's kind of fun to have a, a, a building that you get into and it's higher up. Plus, if I'm going to be having this as my base and start with tech stuff over here, then I'm going to put my power source down below here. And if I'm going to use lava, which is my plan, uh, I, I need to keep it far enough away from the, the wood here so it doesn't burn stuff. So that, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put that right there. I think that's where the power will come up. So that's my kind of plan. And um, now comes the question of uh, what else to do. I, I like the dark oak for these pillars. I think I'll go with oak on the inside just because I can. Uh, the plain oak here for the floors is kind of boring. I think I will grow some spruce and I, I will play with spruce and jungle as a possibility. Uh, yeah, I've got four jungle saplings, so uh, I, I may uh, see about that. Let's do it over here. I I, I like a checkerboard of, of wood for the floor. Or I may go stone. I, actually, I probably better go stone internally just to, to make sure that I, I don't catch anything on fire if, if I have lava. Because I, I know I'm going to count off by one, so my floor could burn if, if I don't count it right. So I think stone, because, hey, I've got lots and lots of stone with my cobble jet. All right, time for a little progress update. Uh, I did get the one uh, cave berry and uh, glow berry and, and spawned it there. And then if I 
come over here and stand about like here. You can see I'm targeting the top block, but when I crouch, I'm targeting the bottom block. And this way I can just right click. Oh, here I need to uh, make sure I got a separate uh, um, empty hand. And then I can sit there and if I spam the, uh, the, the, this crouch hit key, I'm just getting tons and tons and tons of the berries from both sides because it does grow on both sides. The, the benefit of that is I can uh, then make some uh, fruit punch, which is about double the, well, that's 11 saturation and four and a half punches. And this is now 16 and when we six and a half. So better, but it takes three of them. And I could do that with apples, but I can make the, the, those glow berries way faster. Anyway, I've been playing with this. So I tried to hide that, but uh, got this in place. And uh, I, I did say I wanted to kind of raise it up. And so that's what I did. And kind of like the smooth stone continuous texture. I, I kind of like that. And then I, I got the, the smooth slabs just because that breaks up the, the, the bottom a little bit. Uh, doing the dark oak and oak because that those are the woods that I have the most of. And did decide to kind of use the spruce here for the, the roofs just to, to do something different. And if I jump up here, just pretty much box standard slabs, but I did put a, a row of stairs along here just to break it up a little bit. Uh, not that I think I'll be able to see that until I can fly around. And um, I think from here, it, it looks pretty good. Upside down stair there. Um, yeah, just pretty much simple. Yeah, another upside down, upside down stair just to break up that line. And... The things I'm, I, I put some glow berries here in the corners. Uh, none of them actually have produced any glow berries, so I'll do that if you if you if I come here and you know there's there's two there, but I need to pillar up with some dirt to to grow them all, and then I can go like you know not there but over there. Yes, uh, nope, can't. Uh, I need the bone meal to be able to to do anything with that. Uh, anyway, uh, got some framing here. We've got just the, uh, the cobblestone walls behind it, but uh, that gives me some texture. I, I played with that in, in another video and I said, I kind of like that. Uh, very simple, simple walls uh, for right now. I do have some of the, uh, the canopy fences and whoops, nope, didn't want to put it there. And I kind of, uh, let's see. Kind of like the look of that there. It it's breaks up the the textures just a little bit. It's it's similar wood, but it's not quite the same. So yeah, that kind of works. I'm let's try a lantern there and a lantern over here. I don't know if I no. <laughs> I'm not sure if I necessarily want a lantern on every one of those, but. That kind of works. Um, that will provide some light. Maybe I'll have the, the lanterns up here just to provide some light for the entrance way. Yeah, I mean, go with that. Uh, so just playing with uh, some of this. Um, I do need some buttons on the end of my logs. I, I like that as a just a, a little feature to, to make the decoration look a little bit better. Very little by way of decorations on this right now. It's very flat boring walls so I need to do something to break that up and off the top of my head I'm not exactly sure what to do but I will play with that uh, I'm also thinking that this needs a second floor the the ladders here were just to make it easy for me to get up and it's it's a lot more obvious now when I get up here it's a lot more obvious that it's not entirely symmetrical uh, I I did have a log wall or log uh, ramp going across here and it just doesn't line up nice you know these line up very nicely for these other three pieces not here because it's not centered uh, I think maybe I'll and, and, and here's where I'm going I'm not exactly sure uh, I, I would like a second floor up here if even if it's just a hollow space just to, to break up the, the size of the, this building. And I, I think I will flatten this out, make this another flat room. And then these two pieces, this one contiguous piece will just be a, a higher vaulted area, maybe three 
logs higher? Because these are five going up. Yeah, I think I think that's maybe what I'll do. All right, progress time. And uh, I got myself a house. <laughs> I went ahead and uh, did some final decorations around here just to, to make things look nice. And I, I do like how these canopy trees punch down some roots. Uh, it means if you have stuff below here, you got to watch out because you may break it. But uh, anyway, um, as I was setting this up and you know, let's go back, uh, I, I was saying how I I do a extra layer on top which i did and if um, it's it's hard to see with the tree in the place but uh it's it it does lean into the fact that they're different sizes over there which is which is okay anyway the the thing that i did at just this last moment is these blocks from handcrafted and i i was playing with them and, and i kind of like this setup here and over here uh, instead of just the the plain planks that you can see there behind uh, adding these trim in front gives it a different texture that it's it's now 3d as it's poking out so i liked that uh went around here and and added some over here as well and that's it I, none of the other sides um uh, none of the the pieces up above uh, just because, you know, you're you're not really seeing that up there. I got to back up carefully. That I don't fall up the steps. Uh, you're not really seeing the, the top part very much. Uh, this down here, this floor is all oak and dark oak. And then above it's spruce and dark oak. Uh, and I, I got a couple little bits of trim at the, the roof line that's uh, dark oak as well. Oh, and yes, I got a, uh, I made some of the, the, the copper chunks into copper ore and broke it down and smelted it to, to make that uh, chunk, uh, not chunk, that uh, block of, of copper up there. And I like that it's already weathered green. And one of the random prizes was the lightning rod up and above. But that's three more copper. It's, it's not expensive. Because everything's built out of wood, if I have a lightning strike and it just hits one of the things, fire and all sorts of possible burning, and that's bad. So having that... Uh, lightning rod is something I've added to all my wood buildings because <laughs> I, I don't need to have them burned down twice. Anyway, if we go in uh, the upper area, I decided to kind of keep open and uh, just plain planks where this this has uh, stairs and I just went with plain planks. And on the other side, there's these spruce trapdoors, and I put an, an extra set of trapdoors here. You can see the lines showing that it's it's poking out. That that 3D texture just makes it pop a little bit more. Uh, a lot more lights in here. And again, handcrafted, I had some fun playing with this and realized, ooh, I could have a little dining area here for friends when they come over, which is, which is very nice. Uh, a little seating arrangement. Somebody didn't put the chair back uh, at the table the way they should have. A uh, nice little um, sleeping area. This was another random uh, bonus that I got from one of the quests. And the nightstands and this side table, they have inventories, which I think is really cool. I've got an extra night table in here. Plus, we've got these white sheets, which is a little bit of copper, not copper, co uh, wool. That's what I have on top. I've got a nice little uh, um, fabric covering, you know, tablecloth for my table here. Uh, and, oh, and all these work. They can sit in all of these areas, which is really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, so uh, this gives me an opportunity now to have a, an actual place that I can call home. I have a roof over my head, which is really important with the, the phantoms that will come out at night if you AFK a lot, which I do. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking... Cooking for blockheads could go in that little area so I can do some cooking. And uh, back there is probably going to be my tech area, which will be the next episode. Because I, I really want to start getting some tech things going so I can start smelting my ores. And I, I have a plan to quadruple my ores because I, I don't want to uh, be lazy. Uh, iron is, is hard enough to come by. I And I'm going to need a lot of iron. I don't want to uh, you know waste it. I want to get as much as I can. And uh, there we go. It's it, it's a nice little area. It's, it's it's a standard sort of way that I build these buildings now. I don't have a set plan, but I do have, I think it's kind of a procedure of how I do stuff. And this fits my procedure. <laughs> and it works. And I've got a roof over my head, which makes me happy. 
Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, playing on the Ozone Skyblock Reborn server with the FTOG group. And you can play too. And thanks for watching. Bye.